Hi, Coach Kayvon here, and this video is for my entrepreneurial friends, founders, CEOs, managers, anybody who works in business. Um, this also can be applied to personal life, and you'll see in a minute. And uh, I call it the direct method when it comes to, and I use it when it comes to influencing others, having a request, having an ask. So direct method, it's an abbreviation. It has two parts to it, as you can see, and it's about uh, really uh, clarifying the current situation and um, how it can impact everything that comes from here, proposing a different future that is interesting, that is good for us and them, and, uh, and how that proposal needs to be made. So let's get to it. Uh, D-I-R-E-C-T. The D-I-R part is about the first part, um, the framing, the, the problem and the solution. And ECT stands for uh, how you need to pro make, the pro um, make the proposal. So D stands for define the problem. Um, what is going on? What's happening? And why is this not helping us? Clearly defining the problem will pave the way for all steps that comes after this. So by clearly defining the problem, we get our audience's attention, whoever it is that we're trying to help to go to the next level. I stands for intensify the ramifications. So if nothing changes, why the current situation is not going to work us anymore? If nothing changes, why is this bad, basically? So we intensify the ramifications of the current situation and we can are rescue them by offering a solution, offering a future that's good for them, offering a future that is um, easier, better, faster, more profitable, whatever the outcome that you're working on. So DIR, again, define the problem, intensify the ramifications, and rescue by offering a solution. And the solution that you offer should be easy, clear, and tasty. Easy as in easy to do, easy to act, easy to obtain, and that's your job, making it easy. That's, that's your job to cre create an offer that is easy to obtain and easy to implement. And if it's not, again, it's your job to provide a solution for that. It needs to be clear. They need to know what is it that they're getting and how is that related to the previous steps, why it takes them from this current situation to a future that's good for them. And it needs to be tasty, as in, it's again your job to define it in a way, to express it in a way that is attractive, that is desirable. Um, make sure that you are not, um, that you cannot create a desire. There is already a desire, you can only work with it, you can intensify it. And that is actually a good measure that you are doing the right thing, you are doing the ethical thing. thing. You are in, um, offering them a solution that is good for them. Ha, underline good for them. Um, that's, the, uh, that's the ethical way of doing business and getting other people on your side and having an ask. So um, it needs to be tasty, aligned with their desire, the offer that they cannot refuse, and it makes sense because you made it clear and easy and it's easy to understand that this works for them. So quick review, define the problem, intensify the ramifications, I'll rescue them by offering a solution that is easy, clear, and tasty.